Greetings, citizens of Dollar BN. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines and our cozy little town that we are building on. And we are today currently on episode number seven, if I'm not mistaken. And I hope everyone is having a great day and had a great week so far. I certainly have, you know, even though the darkness of the winter is here, but I'm, um, you know, it's just stay positive in all different kind of ways. Anyways, hope you're all feeling awesome. In today's episode, we are actually closing into the downtown area, or more specifically, we are starting to build on the downtown area where. All the commercial districts will be and uh, all the fun stuff in the town and uh, a little more of the more modern builds will be close to the city center or downtown as to say. Uh, we will have some uh, parts of the city like around the city as well that might be have more of a modern builds but I think the, the further out you come the more rural and old school and, uh, and preserved buildings there are. But we are building uh, something a little modern today in this episode uh, after we're taking care of uh, the thing we are working on here. And my idea is a little inspiration from my old town. Uh, in this uh, town where I live we have a small, I don't know what you call it, river feels so big, uh, but a very small river flowing through the city center. Um, uh, our river in particular is, is uh, famous for being very dirty. Um, this uh, river in our town is of course not dirty, it is uh, very clean. Um, and regarding those seawalls, you know, when I started building this I had no idea how I, if I would make it look good, if I could make it so small so it look good without using like the small water streams that are on the workshop, I think they are a little small. But uh, when I was uh, like testing stuff out, I uh, realized that I had those seawalls and you know, they are a little bright uh, in the texture or the LOD or what you call it, uh, but I think they will work for now. We know we not have to overdo it. I think they, they look pretty nice. And the idea is to that this uh, little river will flow from one big lake to another lake. You saw me do some stuff uh, with the terraforming there, creating a little, little lake. We, we will terraform uh, the, the, the environment very much uh, uh, around this, this area in, in the future ep episodes. I'm sorry, I didn't really find my words there. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. This is not done in, in some, some kind of way. I'm just focusing on this particular area where we are now and we will work ourselves. Uh, we'll take an episode, we will do these lakes and make everything look very nice. But for today's episode we, we only concentrate on building this around this area. So we get some feeling, you know, I, I really want some, some more other than just... Um, residential into this town and come a little closer to the downtown because this is uh, where stuff uh, will be happening as to say um, we will do uh, a lot of uh, pathways today as said in a few in uh, in in the recent episodes i want to work a lot more with the walkability in this town um you know it's something i really neglected in 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 the previous series and i didn't really think about um, you know, it's gonna be nice where where you where you're gonna walk because you, you know you want people to walk and and me myself having a dog, you know, really knows the importance of walkability in the town. I walk uh, like eight nine times a day, and uh, if you don't have nice places to walk on, it gets uh, kind of boring. Fortunately, we live in a very very nice uh, looking city regarding the nature and stuff and have a lot of forests and big forests, you know, we can we can be out in in all the time and we love that. Yeah. But anyways, we wanna we wanna work on a lot of walkability in this town makes it looks really nice to walk around in our little dollar B. Um, so we're working with that and as you can see the bridges that I plopped plopped and <laughs> plopped down in the beginning um, also part of that even though it's not really you couldn't really place a path uh, over that because it looks like it looked very weird 
Um, anyway, so this is the more modern buildings that we are working on today. Um, found this on the uh, on the workshop, and I think they, they suit very nice. It's not too fancy, but you can you can see that they are absolutely modern uh, buildings, and the residential we've been working on in a recent episode uh, is like preserved old old buildings that's been standing there since like very very long time ago um, so we started plopping down these two here um, playing a lot around a lot with the the rocks um, you know I think they think it gets really nice it's not so realistic maybe but I think it looks uh, very cool but we were placing more it's the two different assets it, this uh, one of the bigger houses and then we got a smaller house uh, that we will uh, do in uh, a little bit here. Otherwise, I'm just uh, like these gardens and stuff, uh, you know, it's easy to get them to look kind of boring, and I'm doing my best to just make some atmospheric stuff. You know, I will place down some, some tables, you know, for people to hang out that uh, lives there. And uh, I would believe that these are a little more expensive. Uh, residentials you know uh, new builds modern builds um, they tend to take a lot of money uh, for those <laughs> you know uh, oh, but uh, yeah they look they look really cool so here we are continuing this little neighborhood with the modern buildings placing down those uh, little smaller one making it a little uh, you know street feel um, so you have your little neighborhood with uh, friends and I'm not going to do so much fancy we're going to place down some parking lots and you know make space for the people and some vegetation and some other nice stuff and I was struggling a little bit with the height of the terrain here um, um, didn't really, uh, wasn't really paying attention to how I think, but I think it turned out pretty cool in the end. Um, and yeah, just working with the roads, work with the streets, make everything uh, look cool. Um, and also placing down some more trees here by the pathway so it looks nice. And here we're making some uh, other kind of parking lots, it's very common, we have those here in uh, Sweden, a little, a little bit smaller towns, uh, a lot of parking just uh, with that side of the road, like that, and they are always filled with cars, so you never get a spot, but you know, they are, they are there for a reason. Uh, playing around with some different fences and uh, fences I've, I've been using very much is uh, this chain fence that I'm using here, I think it's such a great asset. Um, so can really, really recommend that one. Very nice when you don't want that like very uh, little more subtle uh, fence. I think it looks uh, really cool. And we're finishing up here with some more vegetation, filling up some concrete uh, gaps uh, and uh, making it look really cool. And I hope I didn't really go overboard with the uh, with the. Uh, vegetation you know it's it's it's, it's easy for me to do that um, uh, but uh, yeah I, th I think it looks nice in the end you know it can never be too much bushes um, and wrapping up with some more pathways yesterday always a nice way to go to the place where you want to be And regarding the cars here, you can see I'm only using the vanilla cars and uh, I realized that, hey, there is a mod that's uh, 
named advanced vehicle options that you can download your own cars uh, from the workshop and only have them spawn in the city and I will uh, I have done that uh, you would see in the cinematics you could see I only used old cars except for like the trucks and the cargo stuff and tractors you know all the industrial stuff um, and I think we're gonna. I'm gonna look more into that um, to see if we can find some more. Right, but I think I like the theme that I have right now. Um, it's just, so just this every all this ugly vanilla car just disappeared, and it made it look very much nicer than when you when you like was uh, exploring it. You know. And so now we go over the little river on the other side and we're just going to do a very very simple roundabout uh, with a little side lane um, uh, and I don't really know we, if this is kind of a placeholder it will look something like this but I'm real unsure you know roads are my weakness in the game maybe hmm, who knows um, uh, but uh, I didn't want to uh, do take too much time for the roads in this episode because it's already way too long um, so uh, I think we're gonna do that in a separate episode when we come when we when we are near this uh, area I'm building um, uh, but you will see uh, it's something to to have right now and it's a placeholder to place down the buildings so where we want to go and um, yeah so we just uh, <clears throat> taking the street upward and connect it to the highway so we could get the traffic flowing again from not having the roads connected. And here we start building on uh, this side of the little river and uh, here I was sitting we put down that library which I think it looks uh, it's I think it's a vanilla library and I think it looked pretty cool it's a little bright as like all the vanilla stuff are but uh, hey, you know it. It will. It will do. You know. Um, I think it looked uh, pretty cool and suited the area, pretty nice. So um, I decided to plop that down. And this little area, I think of like um, maybe not a party area, but a little nice area where you can come down to this pub that we are working on here. You know, you can sit uh, with uh, at the river, you know, have yourself a beer or a glass of wine or soda or, you know, whatever, whatever comes in your tastes. Um, and you can sit here on the night and just chill out and, you know, feel really good. And then we are also going to build like an old brewery at the side here, which um, like yeah, I, with some buildings like so you could go there and maybe visit and you could have some shops and you can you know buy the beer and you can go into the brewery and see the beer and I think that would uh, be pretty cool so the whole area is little like um, not I wouldn't say leisure you know because it's not like this party area it's more of a very cozy a very nice area when it's winter I would imagine you know it's when the snow is falling and it's dark and I also put these lights over the river in the end if you watch this time lapse to the end you will see me put some uh, lights on the river and that turned out uh, pretty cool <laughs> pretty cool actually um, and I'm also going to plop down a little uh, buffalo wings um, place we don't have them in Sweden maybe Stockholm or Gothenburg or something but not in my part of Sweden um, but you know I will just play with the with the buildings and I think the series will go more and more towards uh, not being inspired from my town but I will I will try to do that you know somewhere in all this what I'm building there is the inspiration from my hometown in in, in some kind of way you know
So while the time lapse is uh, flowing for you here, I would like to thank you all for tuning into today's episode. It's not super super much uh, left of the time lapse, and of course, in the end, there's some awesome cinematics for you. So be sure to don't miss out on them. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really really enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me of uh, what you what you thought of all this. But uh, until the next time, take care of each other and uh, be nice, you know, that's what uh, life is all about. Uh, but until then, um, be nice to each other and we'll see each other then. Alright, Bawambas out!